45 seconds. Bodie sent it towards the net and scores! Kyle Bodie has punched Union's ticket to Tampa. I think, you know, not how many people thought Union College was going to be in the Frozen Four, and, and I think being a small liberal arts college is, you know, not a lot of people have that kind of faith in us and that kind of respect for us yet. season to remember for the Union College hockey team as under first year head coach Rick Bennett, the Dutchman won 26 games, the Cleary Cup, the ECAC Championship, and advanced to the Frozen Four in the NCAA Tournament. Um, it's, it's, it's been a nice ride. Um, you know, it's, you know, we've got a lot of guys that, uh, you know, who really wanted to make some, you know, some noise and be a difference maker for the program, and, and they've done just that. It was the best season to date for the Dutchmen, as they were able to build on the success of the 2010-2011 season that saw them reach the NCAA tournament for the first time in school history. Well, I think uh, I think we had a good season. I think we started out. Uh, we had two ties against Western Michigan, so you know, no one really knew at that point, you know, what our season was going to be like. You know, if we would have said that we were going to go to the pros before, you know. I don't think many guys would have thought that, but uh, that was always our goal from the beginning. We always wanted, you know, we wanted to win a national championship, and uh, I think getting to the Frozen Four was uh, it was really good for our program and really good for us as a team. It was a whirlwind. Uh, now that we've had a, had time to look back on it, you, you realize how how much work was put into making it to, to the Frozen Four. Obviously, we came up a few games short of our actual goal, but. It, uh, it was just a, a really fun year, you know, all the boys had a great time coming rink every day and uh, seeing each other every day. Uh, we were a really strong group, really close group, and I think that's one of the reasons why we were to do the things we were able to do this year. The Dutchman thrived on a defense-first mentality, ranking first in the nation with a 1.83 goals against average per game and having the 11th best penalty killing unit with an 84.6% rate of success. Cameras, what a block shot by Jeremy Welsh! And while the Dutchmen were sound defensively, they also boasted one of the best offenses in the nation, ranking 6th in scoring, averaging 3.49 goals per game, and 4th on the power play, converting 24.2% of their chances. Here's the slot by the goal! Giveaway there, all alone, moving down the slot, back in her score! Bodie Rissett, Yannick Kepler, save, rebound, Welsh, score! The Dutchmen, carried by an 11-2-2 regular season record after the new year, captured the Cleary Cup for the second time in as many years before going on to win the ECAC championship for the first time in school history. It was a pretty special feeling. Um, we were on a pretty hot run there for a while, and uh, even going into that game, we got down 1-0, and well, she scored a big goal to tie it up for us, but we never really felt like we were in jeopardy of losing. And uh, Going in, we really had a strong feeling on the weekend, going into Atlantic City, and then when, when we did it, it felt a lot better than we thought. It felt a lot better than we expected just to uh, bring that first championship to Union College. After their ECAC championship win, the Dutchmen received a bid to the NCAA tournament, where they first defeated Michigan State 3-1, then UMass Lowell by a score of 4-2 to secure a berth in Frozen Four. Just kind of uh, sticking with our, our process. Uh, just getting on ice, working hard, and uh, taking it uh, as business as usual. And although the Dutchman season would eventually end with a loss to Fair State in the next round, the guys were still able to reflect positively on the best season in Union hockey history. It was great for the program to get there, to get to the Frozen Four. Um, over the past four or five years, this program has taken steps each in the right direction each year, and that, that was another one. But well, I think that's what we're doing. You know, last year we made that milestone, and then and this year we broke it. So I think that uh, 
I think that we're starting to gain some light in the, in the hockey world, and I think that, uh, you know, definitely we're going to keep moving forward.